8.4 proportionality theorems. So we've got what I call the triangle side splitter theorem. Um, the book calls it the triangle proportionality theorem. Um, but this is when we have a triangle where we have a line that's uh, embedded in the triangle like that where um, this line is going to be parallel to one of the sides. Okay, And when that happens, we've got uh, this side split into these segments X and Y and this side split into segments A and B. And um, they're going to be in proportion. So if you have a line that's parallel like that, then X is going to be to Y as A is to B. So as a proportion, I can say X over Y equals A over B because that's the same as saying X is to Y as A is to B. Okay. Um, there's also a converse of this. Um, so if you've got a segment, you see these aren't marked parallel here, but if you have a segment inside of a triangle like that, and the sides are in proportion, so and x over y is equal to a over b, x is to y as a is to b, then uh, those, those two uh, sides, those two uh, lines would be, have to be parallel. Okay. All right, so let's put this uh, to use. So here we've got this triangle, and I can see I've got these parallel sides. Those are already marked parallel. So that means... Um, 8 should be to 12, 10 as 12 is to x. So we can set it up in the same kind of way, just like this one. x is to y as a is to b. So here 8 is to 10 as 12 is to x. Okay, And we can cross multiply to solve this. You could cross multiply right now and, you, and it would work fine. I'm noticing 8 tenths. Hey, I can reduce that. So I'd rather reduce that first just so I'm dealing with smaller numbers. But if you didn't reduce it, it would still work out. Um, Okay, and then the cross products would be equal when we have two when we have two fractions that are equal to each other. So 4x is going to equal 12 times 5. Um, 12 times 5 is 60. And then we'll divide by 4 to isolate the x, and x is going to come out to exactly 15. Okay. All right, let's try another. So there's a, there's a mistake that gets made often on these types of problems. So a lot of time people will look at this, and we are going to set a, a, a proportion, but people will say, oh, 6 is to 10 as x minus 2 is to 5. This is going to be wrong. This is what not to do. That doesn't work because... Um, 6 is going to be to this segment as x minus 2 is to this segment, okay? So um, 10 is for the whole side length, but I want to find just uh, the, the length of this piece. So I have to do a little side problem here, and hey, 6 plus something equals 10, that's going to be 4, right? So this piece then is 4, so I want to say that 6 is to 4 as x minus 2 is to 5. So really easy to make that mistake, so just be on the lookout for that. Okay, and then, yeah, I can reduce that fraction again, or you could just go straight to cross multiplying. And now I have 2 times x minus 2, so don't forget to distribute. We're going we're gonna to double that whole uh, binomial there, so I'm going to have to distribute over here. Right? when I simplify and then 3 times 5 is 15 okay so I'm gonna get 2x minus 4 equals 15 now I'll add 4 to both sides and divide by 2 okay so x is 19 over 2 or if you want to do the decimal version of that that would be 9.5 Okay, on the next page, we've got another proportionality theorem. So this is the triangle angle bisector proportionality theorem. Um, so when we've got a triangle with an angle bisector drawn in, so I can see that those two angles are congruent, that means this is a bisector, then we're going to have um, a proportion. So I'm going to say if we've got this, then... A is going to be to B as X is to Y.
Okay, so this is to this piece as that is to that piece. So I kind of start at the, uh, with, when I'm writing my proportions, I start at the angle that's bisected and work my way out. That's how I, I remember this. So looking at this example, okay, there's my bisected angle. So I'm going to say 42 is to 18 as 63 is to X. Okay, and looking at this fraction, I can definitely reduce that because those are both even numbers. Um, and actually, 6 goes into 42 and 18. So if I divide the top and bottom by 6, I'm going to get 7 over 3. And that just gives me some smaller numbers to work with for cross-multiplying. Okay, and then I've got 7x equals um, 3 times 63 is going to be 189. And then we'll divide by 7 to solve for x. And x is going to come out to exactly 27. Okay. All right. This next problem is a little tricky, deceivingly tricky. Because again, um, kind of like uh, that example on the last page, there's a really easy mistake to make. A lot of people will say, oh, 3 is to x is 5 is to 10. But that's wrong. Okay. So, um, 3 is going to be to this piece as 5 is to this piece. But 10 isn't the length of that piece, right? 10 is the whole thing. So I've got a, a little uh, problem to, to solve here. I've got to come up with a name for this, uh, this part right here, okay? So what I can do, I can think, well, if I take the whole thing minus the left piece, that would equal the right piece. So the whole thing is 10, the left piece is x, so 10 minus x. So I can call that piece 10 minus x. So now that I have um, a value for that, even though you know I don't know what x is yet, I can use that when I set up my proportion. So now I'm going to say 3 is to x as 5 is to 10 minus x. Okay. And then I'll cross multiply from there. There's no reducing I can do here. So I'll just get straight to the cross multiplying. So I've got 5 times x, that's 5x, and 3 times the quantity, 10 minus x. Don't forget to distribute that 3. So I've got 5x then equals 30 minus 3x. I'll add 3 to both 3x to both sides to combine the x terms. and then divide by 8. So I've got 30 over 8, which would reduce to 15 fourths, um, or as a decimal, that'd be 3.75. OK, we've got one more theorem. It's very similar to the first two theorems we used. Really, the math isn't much different. It's just a slightly different situation. So this is the three lines parallel theorem. So you know, before we had a, a, a triangle that we, where we had two parallel lines, something like that. And this has just opened up a little bit. So it's not a triangle anymore. Um, and this time, all three of these lines are, these transversals are parallel. And when that happens, then you guessed it, x is going to be to y as a is to b. So those segments are going to be in proportion. Okay. So on this example, I can say 12 is to 30 as x is to 35. Okay. I'm going to choose to um, reduce this fraction first. So let's see, 6 will go into 12 and 30. That would give me 2 fifths if I divide the top and bottom by 6. And then cross multiply. 5x is going to equal 2 times 35. 2 times 35 is 70. And then I'll divide by 5. And x will equal 14. Okay, here, so I'll put this in this place.
place here. Okay, so there's the x value. And then part B asked me to find the length of GC. Okay, GC is right here. So GC would be x plus 35. Well, now that I know that x is 14, just substituting that in. And I'm going to get 49. Okay, all right, that's the end of the section, and I'll see you next time.